COMBI-E is a study which uh, was performed in stage 4 melanoma. Um, all these patients were untreated and uh, this was a two-arm registrational study uh, testing um, dabrafenib and trametinib, uh, a BRAF and a MEK inhibitor. Um, versus dabrafenib, trametinib, and a PD-1 antibody, spatulizumab, in a patient cohort of um, metastatic melanoma who are carrying the BRAF mutation. Um, these uh, studies have uh, already been uh, published um, and uh, communicated in, in the sense that uh, this study has not reached its clinical endpoint. Um, in terms of relapse-free survival uh, improvement and also OS. Um, but we see after um, uh, now more than three years uh, of follow-up that there is roughly a 20% increase in um, uh, improvement um, also um, protecting against uh, uh, deaths uh, in this study, although it's not reaching statistically significant because the trial probably was um, not large enough. The poster now um, is exploring um, different subsets and it's uh, trying to look for biomarkers um, and uh, one of the biomarkers are uh, neutrophils and lymphocytes and the ratio between both and we know that um, inflammatory uh, signatures in the tumor and the tumor environment are important factors for predicting outcome um, in patients uh, towards a checkpoint blockade and that's actually what we see here uh, as well. We could nicely show that these factors are associated with outcome, uh, particularly in patients who have um, a higher uh, risk of really progressive, uh, of a progressive disease, like patients with LD, uh, uh, increased LDH uh, with uh, multiple organ sites involved.